Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning into Nav's Garage. Now recently, we fitted new sway bar mount bushes to the front of this MY99WRX. Now that's the second time we've done it. And the second time round, it was a lot better than the first time round. Okay, because we've chosen different sort of bushes, we've modified the brackets a little bit, and they really do work a lot better. Now if you don't know what I mean, you better skip back to those episodes and check that out. It's a must watch, but for this episode, we're really going to be showing you how much we care about Sway on Nev's Garage. We actually care more about Sway than Big Runga, which is a hell of a lot. And the girl wrote a song about it. So today, we're going to be making and fitting front Sway bar lateral locks. Now I've taken the liberty of taking an under body video of the front Sway bar, and you can see it shifting around quite a bit. It moves about an inch from side to side. And that really negates the actual twistiness of the Sway bar because instead of pulling it up and down, the sway bar links are just pulling it side to side. So we're gonna put a stop to that today. So let's get it up in the air and get cracking. Alrighty, so let's take a look. Now, our new bushes and modified brackets are doing a great job of staying in place properly now. All right, they're exactly where they should be. But you can see the tide mark there of the grease, how far the bar shifts side to side. All right, see that? So it's almost a whole thumb. Now I've got pretty manly thumbs, by the way. Right, it's a fair bit. Let's check out the other side. Same deal. It's got a lateral movement of about two manly thumbs. All right. So I reckon what we're going to do, guys, is get that bar out and manufacture some lateral locks for it. So let's whip our bar out. All right, so first of all, I just want to make sure that the bar is in the middle. So when I fit my locks, it's centered, okay? Now the reason for that is because I don't want the sway bar links to be offset because they've got quite a high angle on them and I don't want the ball joints to lock out, right? Which is what's happening now when it drifts all the way one way. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, just gonna put a straight edge up here and measure to the edge of the sway bar like this, right? That one's about 17. This one's about 13. So the bar's got to go that way a little bit. So I'm going to give it a love tap. Like that. Straight down the center of the bolt. It's about 15 now. 15. Sick. So we've got the bar centered, okay? So now I'm going to give it a real good scoring around where the edge of the bush sits. Alright, okay. Now it's time to get that bar out. Alrighty, so we've just got to unclip the brackets. And the bar comes out. Okay, there it is. Alright, there it is. Now if we're lucky, our scribe marks will be here. Which they are. Yeah, beautiful. Alright, so let's get these bushes off. Okay. Cool. 
All right, so there's our bar out. Now, how are we going to stop it moving side to side? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to be using this multi-purpose hose, right? We're going to be slipping that down like this in one piece and then placing it in a position to use it as basically a thrust washer, right? So we're going to be putting it here and here so that this face is up against the bushes like this, okay? So it can't move side to side. Which is why last time we changed the brackets and the bushes so that the bush can't push sideways. See? Thinking ahead. Right. Now how, how good is this hose? Well, it's pretty damn good. It's multi-purpose hose. It's good for fuels, oils, coolants. It's good for 300 psi of pressure. And lo and behold, that's exactly what we need for sway bar thrust washers. How do I know that? <laughs> well, in a Simpsons personality profile test, I got Dr. Frank. It's engineering, yeah? All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the bar. We're gonna roughen up this part of the powder coating here so that this has got a nice surface to grip onto and then we're going to put our hose on. So let's start with the cleaning and preparing process now. Alrighty, so the bar's all clean. Now let's prepare our hose. So we'll get our hose cutters now. Now if you want to see a review of these bad boys, jump on on Nev Reviews, check them out. Pretty good product. So first of all we're going to square off the edge, give us a nice clean edge to start with. Alright, beautiful. Now we're going to make them about 4 inches long. You know what, I'm going to go 5 inches for good luck. Done. Okay, so now we have to put the hose onto the bar. All right, so one at a time, we have to feed them down the bar. All right, so first of all, we're going to get some Sikaflex, some 227. All right, this is going to help us keep the hoses in place. All right, so we're just going to squirt some of this on the bar. Where our, where our hose is going to sit, like this, okay, both ends. Now we're going to fit our hose. Alright, now how are we going to put this tube over this big knob here on the end? Well, we need to lube it up with something, okay. So we're going to use a little bit of Sikaflex as a lubricant. hose has been in the sun so it's a little bit flexible so let's push him on there we go so we see the score line. Okay. Now we're going to wipe this sick flex off and put it up here. And we pull the hose back over it. Like this. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to try and get the other one on.
Okay, so we've got both pieces of hose on there now. So now I need to clean up all the Sikaflex on the bar before it dries. Alright, how's that? Looks pretty neat, hey? So now we're going to put some all stainless steel hose clamps on there just to further clamp this onto the sway bar and make it stay in place. Okay, there we go. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so I'm just going to leave that overnight to cure and I'm going to fit the bar in the morning. Okay, so here we go. The lateral locks or thrust stoppers are fitted now. They've been curing overnight. Alright. Looks pretty nice, hey? Not time to slap the bar in there. Okay. Now I think we'll just do a test fit of the bushes. Alright, that all looks sweet as, so let's lube up our bar. Right, so we've got our Super Pro Grease. Give the bar a real good jizz up. inside the bushes too for good luck. Alright. And then bam. Alright, so now we just lift it up into place, fit the brackets. Get the bolt started. Fit this bottom plate back on now. Alright, so now I'm just going to torque everything up by hand.
Alright, so that's it, all done. She's in there. I'm going to give you a bit of a close up, hey? There she is. Pretty good eye. Yeah, I reckon that's lovely. Now we better uh, take her for a drive now and see how she goes. Wow guys, how cool is that? Looks nice and neat. It's perfectly in the middle. Looks like some expensive go fast parts. And more importantly, you saw the difference in how it worked with the before and after video. The difference is amazing. All right, so we're really gonna cut down on that sway now. Anyway, so I guess that's it. Thank you for tuning in to Nev's Garage. Now, Make sure you jump on our socials at Gossam Media and subscribe to us here on our YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified when our next great Nev's Garage video drops. You don't want to miss it. Until then though, thank you for liking and sharing. And I uh, guess we'll see you next time on Nev's Garage.